Good evening and welcome. My name is Dr. Victor Frankenfood, and today I have commandeered this television studio to bring my very own cooking show to the masses. Booth, play my intro. Perfect. Today I'll be showing you how to make a delicious Halloween treat. And as a special favor to the studio, I'll be continuing their regular programming and showing you how to do various basic camera movements. So why don't we show off our first movement so I can introduce my special guest, Taste Tester. Let's truck right so she can say hello. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Gretchen. Let's pedestal down so Gretchen can say hello. Say hello, Gretchen. Well, let me go, you friend. OK, OK. Let's put that back there. Thank you, Gretchen. Now today, I'll be showing you how to make pumpkin spice cupcakes. Now I made these in a special 3D pumpkin mold, but you can do these in any ordinary cupcake or muffin pan. Why don't we show our second movement and have the camera pan to the left and zoom in to show off our ingredients. Here is a list of what you'll need. The only thing not here on the table will be your milk and your pumpkin puree. Let's go ahead and zoom out. Now, what you're going to want to do first is take your dry ingredients and mix them in a bowl. Take your sugar and your butter and mix them till they're nice and fluffy before adding in your eggs one at a time. Then add in your milk and your pumpkin puree before adding in your flour and your dry ingredients. Bake for about 25 minutes until they're golden brown and fluffy. Make sure your oven is at 400 degrees. Now, as we don't have an oven in the studio, I went ahead and pre-made some of my own to show you. Why don't we have the camera dolly in for a look? Don't worry, I won't bite. Well, tilt down, tilt down. Et voila. Don't those look delicious? Sure to entice any monster bash or graveyard jamboree. But don't take my word for it. Let's go back to our taste tester so she can tell you how they are. Come on, try a bite. No, no, Go ahead, no. try. Eat it! Okay, it's good, but can you let me go? But I still have such sights to show you and so many more recipes to show off to the good people and <laughs> on second thought, I think that is all the time we have for today. Thank you for joining me on Dr. Victor Frankenfood's Culinary Abominations. I hope to see you again next time, or within the next 20 to 40 years. Let's get those.